A man with a concealed weapon permit walks into a bank, takes care of his business and leaves. Now U.S. Bank is threatening action if he keeps it up. New at 5, Yona Gavino spoke to a Wisconsin carry official about this, and she is live on the east side with that side of the story. Yona. Good afternoon, Shannon. Well, right here in my hands, I have the letter that U.S. Bank sent to the customer. Now, that customer is actually outraged because legally he can carry his concealed weapon, but the bank says if he brings it in the bank again, he'll be in big trouble. Do you think that our customer here who is who is upset wouldn't be so upset if there was a sign post that alerted him? Yeah, certainly. I mean, like I said, there's um, we can see concealed carry holders. We see signs occasionally. You know, I think before law, people thought signs were going to be everywhere. And every Nick Clark knows Zachary Cantwell. Clark is also the chairman and president of Wisconsin Carry. He saw the letter that reads, Further action will be taken if a U.S. bank employee observes or learns that you or any other customer is in possession of a weapon on U.S. bank premises. U.S. bank doesn't allow concealed weapons inside the bank. But the law states they can't ban weapons from vehicles inside the parking lot. Still, some with CCW permits say carrying a weapon inside a bank can be an extra protection since banks are a target for robberies. It's really a bad idea to let the criminal element know that in a particular financial institution with people coming with a lot of cash that, that those customers are going to be disarmed by company policy. Clark believes sending a letter was extreme. They take it beyond even if they see someone carrying, but, uh, but if they learn of someone carrying they were going to take further action. That's a pretty threatening statement. I think it's bad customer service. Now, Nick believes that all of this problem could have been avoided if there was just a warning sign that said no weapons allowed inside the bank. And also, I did reach out to that official who sent the letter, but never heard back from her. We're live here in Milwaukee. Yona Govino, today's TMJ4.